Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Pat Coffees. This is their Los Pinos Espresso Coffee Beans and this one, well this was a bit steep this one, this was £10.95 for the 250 gram bag. It's part of their micro lot plan and I've tried the other plans so I thought I'd give this one a try and see what a ten pound coffee tastes like so let's take a quick look at the bag it says directly sourced from farm to cup los pinos espresso origin is honduras hints of white peach blossom whatever that is the roast is light espresso grown by orlando gosselin and drade the grind size is whole bean and this one was roasted on the 27th of the 3rd, 2024, and packed on the 1st of the 4th, 2024. So it was packed four days after, well, round about four days after it was roasted. Micro lot, 250 gram bag. On the back, we have a little bit about packed coffee go straight to the farmer so we can give them a price that's significant significantly higher than the fair trade base champion planet first practices like reforest reforestation projects water conserv conservation and our carbon neutral sorry roastery fresh coffee is the best coffee so we'll always deliver yours within days of roasting which i did and there we go, a little bit more information there on the bottom. And that is it for the pack. I think there is, they do give you a bit more of a description if you if you go on the website. I'm not entirely sure if this coffee is still available because when I searched for it after I'd received it, I couldn't find it. So hopefully it's still there. And as I say, they give a bit more of a description on the website. So let's take a look at the beans. There is a bit of vari variation to the size of these beans and it is a lightish roast this one. Um, it's quite an even roast to it even though there's a variation in size there. And the aroma is, well it's quite subtle I'm assuming because of the lightish roast and there was no great um, amount of pungency that hit me when I first opened the bag it's sweet and biscuity almost bourbon biscuit like but not super chocolatey there's a slight fruitiness there and it's got a nice underlying earthiness for the price I was honestly expecting something amazing and it's it is top quality but just a little bit underwhelming so far so I'm hoping the gra the grind, the grind will liven this one up a bit. Let's take a quick look at the ground coffee. And I ground this one super fine thinking it was a light roast. And it's not as light as I was expecting so it's clogging my DeLonghi up a bit. So the next batch of grind up I'll have to grind it a little bit um, coarser. And when it's ground it's a bit more lively. It's got a nice rich bite to it there's a there is some a bit of something that i can't quite put my finger on it may be the white peach blossom mentioned on the pack it's a it is a really inviting aroma though but again a little bit understated with nothing really jump jumping out at me so after the slight disappointment so far let's hope the taste can do something special So, taste wise, well, I'm getting a lot more of the floral hint in the taste and it's got an interesting sort of licorice tang to it as well. It's very sweet and I definitely prefer this one with no sugar added. And it's got a, it's, it's good with um, no milk either, black. Although I did like it with the slightest drop of semi-skim milk in this one. 
and as a large amount of full fat milk would probably mask the delicate flavours of this coffee and it is quite tea like too there's no bitterness but there is a slight bit of acidity that gives me a kind of orangey vibe to this one so after the low expectations from the aroma this turned out to be a great tasting coffee with a delicate complexity and I'll give it a score of 4.25 out of 5 and it's well recommended especially if you don't mind paying a decent price for coffee as it is a little bit steep but can be justified as it's not a coffee you will find anywhere else or it's not a coffee you see every day anyway. So that was my review and I would really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or if you've purchased coffees on from Pat before, let me know what you thought of them in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.